And I would say that if any map is sort of similar like Odyssey, I would say it's Daybreak. Yeah, they're very, very similar. Daybreak is just like Odyssey on a larger tile set, basically. I thought you were going to say Odyssey on crack. I was like, why are you going with this? <laughs> why would I say that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> why would that be your thought? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I don't know. I just thought you were going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I know that they bring is, is that crazy something I say a lot? <laughs> I, say. I don't know. I know that they oh, can no. be a crazy map, but <laughs> I don't think really it's going, it's falling out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Daybreak is Odyssey on an acid trip. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like wow, man. <laughs> Disco ball comes down, the rave lights go on. <laughs> wow, that would be a cool map. <laughs> yeah, Odyssey is like the end of Madagascar 3. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm telling you, man, you got to check it out. The movie's awesome. I believe you. 15 pool once more for Gamma, uh, Gamma BSN, who was, of course, our Taiwanese Zerg on the left bottom side of this map. And Liquid Xenio is our green Zerg spawning on the right top side uh, of this map, who uh, seems to be going for hatch, is for hatch for us once more. Seems like a gentleman's agreement. Uh, you do your opening, I do my opening. We both think our opening is better. All right, I'm fine with that. Uh, I mean, there, th if anything's been proven, it's that these openings are very even, because every game gets to mid game, every game gets to late game. And uh, these guys are just so evenly matched. Sin has literally just barely hung on every single time. Uh, ooh, I like this by Xenia. Sin's out a drone, and he's going to block and try and delay the uh, the hatch of, of uh, Sin a little bit. Poke up in the main, say, all right, well, looks like you're doing what you've been doing. Let's go home and prepare for more of the same. And, uh, man, such great plays. Xenia's build identical, uh, getting the gas down, working on that spawning pool. Sin probably going to take his own gas here shortly as he has been doing all series long. This is quite a good map for Roach Infester as well. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a good spray style on every single map, but I would say certainly on Daybreak, it seems yep. to be a very popular place now. People are fine with it. Also, because it's very hard for Mulas to really move around in this map. Once your Mulas end up over here, they're either going to catch damage over here, or they're going to catch damage over here. They're literally locked up, and uh, it's going to be very hard. That's why... I mean, I'm not going to say you never see Mudas on this map, because you do. Uh, I believe Nasty did Mudas once on this map against Idra in one of f their famous series on the MLG event. But mm, I would say that Roche Fester is I mean, the most You should never write off a strategy on any map, but you're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, w once your Mudas are inside of somebody's base, they're kind of committed there. Uh, Santa's changed up his build, Kev. He's not taking any gas. So I think we're going to see him doing... Something that I've been favoring a little bit these days is delaying these gases and taking advantage of a much stronger mineral economy. One thing you have to realize when uh, when one player takes his gas is that he's got three drones that aren't mining minerals for a long period of time. And, and you can capitalize on that and get ahead by just keeping all your drones on gas and then over doing it when you do take your gases a little bit later instead of just taking one geyser, take three or four. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Sin's done something kind of similar to that here, just now taking his first gas at about 35 supply. I must say I'm a bit surprised that out of all maps that he s decides to do that on Daybreak, because there is no real ramp that uh, units can have high ground visions pretty early on, and I think that would be a little bit riskier, because people often run into something like that easier than they run into something like with, uh, with something, or that they run up a ramp, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, you know, um, Xenia's been committing to a little bit of Zergling aggression, like yeah in the mid game or early mid game early every mid -game. single time. So Sin can say, all right, well, if you're going to do that, I'll just sit back a little more, drone a little bit harder, and be further ahead of you. And look at the worker tab right now. Yeah. It's 36 drones to 27. Yeah, but look at the Zergling, ta zergling count, Ben. Uh, it's going to be, whoa, where are you, Zerglings, Zinio? 16 Zerglings right now, and I believe 24 Zerglings against three Queens and a spine crawler. I'd like to see how this turns out. Queens are pretty good, man. Uh, I think Sin's oh, going to be Sin okay. Oh, Sin is still droning. Are you, st oh, are actually you sure? With nine drones in production, that, that changes immediately. Yeah. Uh, if... if Ah, there's a lot if the, of if those, if those drones are lings, then it's different. But uh, spine crawlers okay. in an awkward spot. Queens are here. Queens and spines Zinio, are, are don't good. Don't waste any time, and he, he's probably not going to waste any time. And he's going to fight straight away, and he knows that he called the right moment. And drones going to fight a little bit. Drones not terrible against zerglings, and this is good control by Sin. He's putting these drones on hold position every couple of seconds, and uh, he he loses the spine crawler, but he still comes out of that with a small worker lead. Only, uh, oh, I say only mm. seven drones killed. But uh, I still don't think this was that bad for him, Kev. No, because not that bad. But he also lost a lot of mining time. You shouldn't forget about that. Uh, loses some mining time. He's got the faster layer. It, it could have gone better. And I think the real thing that made it okay for Xenia was the fact that that last rotation of nine drones came out for Sin. If those had been nine sets of Zerglings, yeah, then he would have taken virtually no damage. That is true. But um, 
either way, uh, we, we, we again find ourselves at a sort of a, a stable place, an even game here in the mid game. 40 drones to 41 drones. Sin going up to four gas, getting his lair. It's just more of what we've been seeing all series long. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like uh, middle is right now, but I w I'd be surprised if Sen goes for Miras. Not that it's impossible, but I just don't see it happening. That's definitely what it looks like. Uh, Xenio is getting roaches with roach upgrades. Just throw down a double evil chamber and an infestation pit. Come on, Sen. Just do it. But I don't think he's going to do it. I think it's going to be Miras, Kev. So it seems. Layer finishing up. Sin just kind of chilling out, taking his own third base, making sure that there's nothing down there to, to bug it. He's done a good job of putting a couple banelings around his bases so that the uh, Zergling run bys aren't terribly, terribly dangerous. Xenio is going to do the exact same thing uh, as soon as he spotted it. Uh, Sen is going up to three bases, and he's going to do uh, he's going to do it as well. Uh, Sen is going to aware of this as well. Both players having overlords in excellent positions. Uh, I think. So. Oh, I love this. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to try to morph into an overseer. Will it get away? Yeah. Wow, that's smart. when it turns into an overseer, it'll heal. Yeah. That's and it'll fly away safely. That's so unfair. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Peace out, bro. Well, it's ridiculous. Overseer like flies away, winks at the queen. Mm. See you later. <laughs> Invitation pit is going down for Xenio, man. So he's gonna have pretty quick infest the spire halfway down four cents. So Sen is going to play with us, despite of. Uh, Oh, just just playing mutas like doesn't mean he has to really overly commit to no, them. He can he make can just six, make seven mutas, maybe ten. All the overse uh, overlords yep. around the map. Take the map control and just kind of force Xenio to be defensive. Mutas kill a drone or two. Yeah, they, you know they don't have to flow up into the fly up into the main and, and really be like everything. Exactly, exactly. That would be kind of cool though if they do. Sin, Sin just doing a little loopy loop here with these lings. He's going to lose a handful of them and not really gain anything other than scouting. Sees the roach count, sees the third base going up, and uh, I think he's going to be fairly okay with that. Uh, this is a big long map, so it's not like Xenia can just march across and kill him right now. Uh, nine mutas in production right away, and immediately Sin starts transitioning. Roach Warren Evo Chamber goes right mm -hmm. down. So that's about the amount of mutas that he's going to make. Xenia knows it though. Xenia scouted it once more. Yep, he did scout the Spire uh, with his little overseer. So he's probably going to get a spoil crawl in each and every single base, and I think he's going to be fine. We see Pathogen Lens being researched. This is the moment when he can start making those Infestors. Uh, they're going to pop out with energy. Xenia is going to be fine. Yep. Uh, the chances of these mutas doing substantial damage, slim to none. Uh, Infestor is great against mutas. But uh, but still, we can, and Sin knows this too. He's just going to work on killing overlords and, and take out the vision of Xenio and just take as much map control as he can before he s sneaks out of there. Zen picks, uh, st uh, Sen starts picking off kind of a couple of overlords. <laughs> I keep saying Zen right now. So silly. I've never did it in my life, and you started with it tonight. Man, it's Sin versus Xenio. It's like when Mana yeah. plays against Nama. It's impossible to cast that game. No, Mana versus Nama is easy. <laughs> yeah, what do you have to say it like 15 times? <laughs> I did it. Uh, Sin is really playing with fire here with these uh, with these yeah. mutas, leaving him in Xenio. Oh, the for a long time, and Infestor pops up. Oh, so oh so man, Xenio really missed a chance. Now he's uh, splitting up a little bit. He wants to go for it. I think it's so risky. Fungals, Fungals go down. I don't know if this is no. worth it. Uh, Bro is done, and that's going to mean that uh, Sin so. only able to kill a single Infestor. Well, we'll see Transfuse. He had my energy for it. He, mm. I know it's hard to land Transfuses on the Infestors, but... Why are you just leaving your Mutas here, And they're so low on HP, Sin. Sin ends up losing the first Mutas. Now Transfuse is going down. I now he's going to get out of there. Should be able to kill this Overseer. Sin, kill the Overseer. Kill the Overseer. Not going to happen. Both players droning up a lot. Sen this time to play with a big bang, but that's why Xenia is up 25 supply. Soon as Sen is really going to start spending that money, and uh, they're going to end up pretty much even, but Xenia is way ahead in the Roach upgrades, man. Plus two is almost ready, while plus one is not even ready for uh, Sen. Way ahead in the Roach upgrades, way ahead in the Roach count, and a uh, little bit of a scary moment here as we see Xenia yeah. moving out. Sen's got eight Infestors in production, but he's got nothing really on the ground, and uh, actually it looks like he's just taking a fourth base. Oh, man, Mutas from Sen going to fly into a range with these Infestors, Fungal, mm, Guru, not Xenia Fungal. is really, really good about keeping these Infestors alive. The Overseer's there. Uh, not a Fungal. Beautiful Fungal right there by Xenia. It's going to clean up these Mutas. Doesn't have to worry about those anymore. Ah, great transfusion there. Saves one of those Infestors. Last of the Mutas is going to go down. A little bit uh, unsatisfied with the way Sin used those Mutas. There's still a few Overlords here and there that he could have picked off. And uh, there's still other things that he could have used them for. Just Me too. Uh, general... Uh, Mutalisk is, is a free map hack uh, in ZBZ. It leaves an unsatisfied feeling in your stomach. It's kind of like when you go to a fancy restaurant and you pay a lot of money and you barely get any food. And you're like, man, I really should have gone to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, last time I tried to go to KFC was a bad experience. Yeah, I know. I don't like KFC. <laughs> Popeyes. Much better. Well, it wasn't a bad experience because of the food, man. It was a bad experience because I was I was walking to KFC. And oh, I you got lost. Uh, yeah, I was in, uh, it was in Cologne. <laughs> it was in Cologne. <laughs> it was a New Year's party, and I decided at about 3 in the morning that I wanted KFC. And I remember we passed one on the way there, so I started walking to it. <laughs> Which was like 20 and minutes and away And I car. walked for like two hours, and there was just no KFC. And then finally I saw a sign that said KFC that way. So I'm like, oh, I am going the right way. And so I followed the sign, and I keep walking, and I never see the KFC. And like about 5 in the morning, I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And uh, I flag a taxi, and I was like, hey, man, uh, can you take me to KFC? He's like, uh, KFC where? I was like, KFC in Cologne. He's like, oh, Cologne's 10 miles that way. And he points <laughs> the direction that I was walking from. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> That was a pretty good night. It was a it was a fun night. Hazelos was there too, one of the players who lost uh, yesterday, unfortunately, in the wild cards uh, against Galaxy. It's always nice to see new faces coming up. Galaxy uh, qualifying out of the open bra open tournament, but I would also love to see Hazel making a deep run once more because he was part of the previous two finals, I believe. I'm not sure if he made season one finals. He definitely made the season two finals. Um, but yes, it wasn't Hazel's year this year, Ben. Sin going to split up his roaches a little bit and send him around just to try to do a little bit of harass, maybe free up some supply and allow him to start transitioning into some hydralisks. Sin has such a big bank right oh, now. Oh, Infestor Snipe, one down. Two, not down. Oh, and Sin's going to actually take a fight here, and I'm not sure that I'm crazy about this. Yeah. Zinio's very well positioned. Great fungals by Zinio. Tons of Infested Terrans going down for Sin. So many Infested Terrans. They are all going to pop, and will it be enough to swing this fight? I don't really think so. Zinio's just going to back off. And uh, Sin should consider doing the same here, man. Wow, as, uh, all those infested terrans, man. He might actually be able to pick up this hatchery with all those infested terrans. Oh, Zinio miscontrolling his infestors. He ends up losing two or three infestors. Uh, over here. And actually, Sin's got more roaches on the bottom half, and he is going to continue to push forward. A, a epic, or uh, a very uh, important mistake there by Zinio. Uh, Sin is remaxing with roaches, infestors, and hiders. And look at this, some roaches getting into the back of the third base of Zinio. Sin doing some more damage. How in the world did that fight go Sin's way? Unbelievable. Uh, these guys, again, both at about 180 supply, but Sin uh, seems to have the momentum. He's got so many units in production, and Fester's popping out, Hyder's popping out. Uh, although Xenio's already working on plus three. Wow, great job of upgrading and teching for Xenio. Yeah, Xenio has been ahead in upgrades all game long. But I was surprised as well, and even during the fight, Xenio had way more supply, but it just didn't look like that because most of it was in production. He made units immediately as soon as he started losing them. But all those infested Terrans, they did a ton of damage, and the infestors of Xenio were a little bit out of position. The first two, three fungos were good. After that, there wasn't really any infester action anymore. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really bizarre, and Sin just dumped all of his energy into infested Terrans, and they were so <sighs> surprisingly effective. One thing that Sin has done very well oh, throughout throughout this entire series is make use of his overseers and change lengths. He always yeah. knows where the army of Xenio is, and that's very impressive. So let's be careful right now. Yes, doesn't have enough roaches. Beautiful oh. movement there. The roach around over here by Xenio. Uh, good job right there. What the is going what is to this? He's on move well. command. Yeah, he just loses all those units for free. That's and now uh, he's going to try to make something happen in the middle of the map, but saying you just lost so many units. This Zinio is not the time to fight. Sin no. knows it. Xenio wants more, Ben. is going for his double, gray, uh, double spire uh, transition, and I'm not a big fan. Well, I don't know, maybe you can surprise, maybe you can prove me wrong. I, I, well, I mean, we'll see. I guess when you have this much money, it makes sense. Well, but the thing is, Sen had way more money, and I felt that if he would have not sacrificed these units in the right bottom side of the map, just taken on a big fight and then remax, he would have probably been able to take the game. Instead, it's uh, going to be a slightly later yeah. hive for Sen. He's just building spine crawlers and uh, continuing to add to his, uh, to his infrastructure, I suppose. He's also getting overlord speed, and will he add drop? Uh, Xenio's getting drop. That's an interesting... Interesting addition to the army. A little bit yeah. of a run by up at the top left. I was kind of wondering about that too. Uh, but yes, we do have a little bit of roach harassment here by Zinio. Left up wow, side look at this fungal in the bottom of the map, Kevin. Fester's getting all caught out of position. Huge, huge catch by Zinio. And that's another big hit for Sin, who loses uh. a lot of units for free. Great fungal there by Zinio. Maybe the pressure getting a little bit to Sen by now, Ben. Uh, Sen just one game away of clinching that playoff berth and being in top 16 of the NASL for the third season on a row. But uh, Zinio is definitely not ready to give up yet, and Zinio will get Brutalots out this game. Yes, he will. Greater Spire finishing. Corruptor is coming out. And uh, this is some really good play here by Zinio, not really missing a beat. What is this, uh, what is this Baneling doing? He's kind of waddling through the middle of the map. How many Banelings are there? Four. 
kind Great of Great spider on the way for Sen as well. And Sen has a lot of money too, so Sen could potentially get Brute Lords too. And Ben, wouldn't it be smart if you know your opponent is going Brute Lords to just only make Corruptus? Yes, that's uh, actually the exact correct thing to do. Because Brute Lords take up not just a lot of resources, but a lot of supply. A lot of uh, blood from those changelings. But yes, sorry. I just pulled a Buddha Ben. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Did you just say Buddha? No, I said I just pulled a band. Like, because you were making a good point, and I've been focusing on something silly as changelings bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that you always do when I get really mad. Don't <laughs> make fun of the mistletoe guy, Kev. He's <laughs> a very important figure in this game. <laughs> if he's uh, the first drop of the game by Xenio right now with uh, four roaches in each of these overlords. Yep, 12 roach drop. At the top half of the map is a four infester drop. Well, 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 well. Uh, right up at about 12 o'clock. There it is. Four Brofester hit squad, as mm. Destiny has coined. There's uh, a Corruptor. More Corruptors. Yeah, this is going to be a really frustrating drop. Oh, it's going to get the Spire. Oh Great fungal by Sin, but there's going to be no saving Transfuse. the Spire. Transfusion's going to go down, Another but there's no Transfuse. chance, man. A great pickoff there by Xenio. I love his late game play here on Daybreak. He's making some really great decisions. Uh, Sin pulling back so many Infestors, he's going to commit a lot of energy and a lot of resources. At the same time, here comes the uh, the Infestor drop, Kev. But there are Spine Crawlers and more Spine Crawlers and no sports, but more Spines are on the way. We see the Brutalists in the middle of the map as well. So much action right now in three places of the map. Where is Xenio going to go? Oh, Ben. Four yeah. Infestors, four Roaches. Xenio needs to be careful not to drop on Spines. He's not going to. Instead, he's going to re... Uh oh, those Infestors, Ben. What are the Infestors oh, doing? Terrible Xenio! misclick. Xenio, what in the world? How does this happen? No, six, Massive. Seven, eight, nine, if eight, nine. Massive loss there for Xenio. Oh those, uh, those Infestors obviously were uh, hotkeyed with something else that he had going, and that is a brutal loss. Oh, wow. Uh, four Infestors unloading in the back of Sin's third base. I think that's going to be a lot of Infested Terrans, and it is going to be a lot of Infested Terrans. Fungal's going down on drones as well. And uh, Xenia, well, you know, Sin pretty quick to respond to this. Might yeah. manage to save this hatch. Over oh, yeah, Corruptors will catch up with that Overlord. So those, infe those Infestors are going down too. Xenio just managed to lose, well, he still has 20? Infestors, how is it even possible? I don't, I'm well, it's just a super high eco game. Xenio's got crazy amounts of What's gas. Look at here? Sin, Kev. He's got 4,000 minerals, 3,000 gas. If Sin were to switch into Ultras right now, oh my gosh. I mean, with Broodlords out, Broodlord versus Ultra obviously goes in favor of the Broodlord, but the Infestors will not even dent an Ultralisk. This is uh, precious cargo that's being lost, Ben. Four Infestors in... <laughs> Overload just fell down, and Xenio just lost a ridiculous amount of Infestors in a very short amount of time, but he still has a lot of them. He still has the thing 18. that really upsets me is that Xenio, is, he's built all these Infestors, and that means that he doesn't have gas to make the <laughs> Root Lords that he wants. He's just got no gas right now. He's completely broke. Uh, completely split map right now. Xenia has taken this 6 o'clock expand. And one really good thing about the Broodlords is they will give him the ability to actually Ooh. take and hold this base, at least for the time being. Sen is going to get newer Parasite, Ben. I think that's a very cute move. Uh, it's not ready yet, so Xenia doesn't have to worry. Fungal does land a little bit on these Broodlords. A lot of Infested Terrans. He might be able to pick up one. This is just a war of the Infestors. Yeah, it's like a zero supply army against a zero supply army, and it turns out that's like 500 units. Uh, Sin will manage to take out this hatchery, so Xenia was not, in fact, able to take and hold this base in spite of the fact that he had the Broodlords out. The good thing for Xenia is that he's on double spire and he's upgrading his Corruptors really a lot, so I think in the long run, uh, Xenia is definitely going to be able to win the air wise, so that means that it's going to be okay for him uh, to go Corruptors, even though, like, Sen is going to try to catch up, Sen is going to get an addition or a new spire. Uh, no, an addition spire, because he's already making 10 oh, Corruptors. Soon. So many Infested Terrans being spawned once more. Infested Terrans everywhere. Broodlord's trying to rain down on this. I think Xenia's just going to fungle the Infested Terrans to death. At this point, I think that'd be the most efficient way to use his energy. More Infested Terrans going down, and Sin really uh, committing a lot of this energy to killing this base, and it's going to work. No, he's at least going to take out the Spine Crawlers. More units coming in. Corruptor's showing up right now. Uh, the Corruptor count is actually in, in favor, favor of Xenia. Sin. No, he's got 22 oh to 17. Wow. Where are his? But uh, the upgrades are, are pretty much yeah. well in favor of Xenio. 2-1 against 0-0. Zero, zero. So if there was a big fight, I think uh, Xenio would still win in spite of it. Well, the hatch running low on HP, but the hatch will stay alive. But Xenio wants more. Let's uh, go. Oh, the hatch is so low. But more Zinio Infested Terrans no spawning. Gas. And uh, if Sim just right clicks overseas. the Infested so Terrans on the hatch, he'll kill him. Oh, the Corruptor War, Ben. A uh, huge Corruptor <laughs> War in the middle of map. This is the most bizarre yeah. ZVZ series I've ever seen, by the way. Um, Sin is just one-shotting Corruptors, but Xenia with the much better upgrades and the much better numbers even is going to force Sin back. 
And there's yeah. no way to an analyze this kind of gameplay. Okay? There's a rude lord who just passed the by. Craziest. Like 15 corruptors. He's like, hmm. Hey Nothing guys. to see here, guys. I come in peace. I don't want to fight anymore. I was a corruptor once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was a corruptor once. Right now I'm on my way home. I'm ready to go back to a drone. That's how I started. Once upon a time, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just done. <laughs> I don't know how this game could ever end because I don't think either guy can attack into the other. Here I have my brute links. You can take them. Please be good to them. They've been good for me. Man, 200 supply to 200 supply. Oh. It's 29 Suddenly, corruptors oh, for sin. Massive fungal there. Uh, 29 corruptors to 9. Yes. Kevin. Suddenly upgrades are not that important anymore, but fungals are important, man. Look at all these corruptors. Look at uh, uh, infestors uh, and infested uh, terrans uh, and corruptors and broodlords and queens and overseers. And what the hell are we witnessing right now? It's just a look lot at the of stuff. Infestors everywhere, and they've used all of their energy, but it doesn't matter. Sin still wins the fight in the air. Senior has no more gas, man. He's just completely completely out of gas and now Sen is going to get his own brood lords after realize he won the air battle and he's just going to morph him right on top of Xenio and he's like what you going to do about it bro what you going to do, do with, with all no that gas. gas that you don't have <laughs> uh, the is actually one Whoa. brood lord down two brood lords down Fungus. three Whoa. no they're going to get away no nope there corruptors are, are going to end it there are a few corruptors left Sen just lost a lot of units as well well, where can Xenia get some <laughs> gas, man? What this game? Well, that was his series. Not a ball, what? It's so risky by Sen. Look at all these infestors of Xenia. He lost <laughs> so many. He has 27 infestors. How can you ever kill 27 infestors? I don't know. I don't think that you can unless you have 28. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Unless you saw that you have high templars. I, I mean, uh, Zeno on the uh, 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 yes, the other hand is out of energy. So if I mean, <laughs> well, maybe good. Sin just needs to keep attacking. I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is this. It's bizarre. It's ridiculous. <laughs> More infested Terrans oh, gonna go down. Oh, those are going to fall once more, man. What is? Why does Sen want to back those up and make lords the brood lords so on your side of the map, man? Then uh, they will fall. Corruptor is also gonna take a lot of damage. Sen really needs to back off of this. And Zeno. Oh, wow, Sen is giving away this game. Yeah, Zeno is once again gonna max out. Uh, production tab shows us that Sen's kind of not building anything. He's just not been injecting. No, he doesn't have a single injected hatch anywhere. He does have 25 larvae, so he could build stuff. He just doesn't know what the hell he wants to make. Uh, looks like he's going to morph he's some more. Finally, have some real more. units from Xenio again, besides three units, and it's going to be a couple of roaches. And then he really doesn't, man, they actually cost money, and I have to be careful with them. Sin is secured 12 o'clock. He's got spine crawlers there. Xenio is taking uh, the uh, the 6 o'clock base. He's got all of his infestors there. I think he would really like some guns. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, Ben, Xenio is definitely not giving up yet. He knows what's on the line. If Xenio loses this game, he is out of the NHL Season 3 as well. Sen is in great shape. Sen is up 2-0. We are playing best of five. But Xenio ain't giving up. And this game is madness. I've, I've no yeah. Imagine, yeah. Have to, you have to like, imagine, like, you tell your friends, like, hey, man, I watched the NHL last night. Oh, yeah, I missed it. What happened? Well, I'm not really Z sure. There was a ZVZ series between Sen and Xenio. Oh, and? Yeah, it was pretty cool. What <laughs> happened? I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Don't even ask. Uh, Roach is going to try up here at 12 o'clock once more. Sin's got no units in position, but Xenio, afraid of the spine crawlers, backs off. Um, like suddenly we have 18 spine crawlers in production. Yeah. Where uh, did that come from? It uh, came from 90 drones. Yeah. And and uh, more just baffling ZVZ unfolding here. Sin has managed to get 10 Broodlords out, but his Corruptor yeah. account is one, one against s one Broodlord and, and his six Corruptors. account is 10 against 26. And that has to be better for Xenio, I think. I don't know, Kev. I just don't know. I know that this fight is going to take a long time with all these three units. Yep, you're not, you know. definitely don't want to attack into this. What if Xenio also had ten swarm hosts? You know, the good thing is for Sen, Sen has Neural Parasite. Imagine if he neurals the other infestors to use up all the energy and fungal the rest. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that, is that too far-fetched? Uh, not at this rate. <laughs> 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 That seems to be the most logical thing that, we could, that could possibly happen right now. Ben, <laughs> please cast. Queens against infested Terrans and Broodlords and... Like, all yeah, I, I see mean, is Kevin, three this units. Is just like, is, that's it. It's Broodlings against infested Terrans. It's a zero supply army fighting a zero supply army. Finally, some Corruptors show up. 
Alright, they're gonna try to work on these brews. Well, we Infested Terrans actually might swing this fight. Zen's gonna come forward. Send. You have so much energy. Uh, look at all the Infested Terrans. Xenio's just never gonna stop. It's just a it's it's a Infested Terran highway. As they keep going down as Xenio marches Beautiful forward ever slowly. Yeah, the great fungal, but he's not got the energy. One more and Fester dies before he can get off any cast. Sin's got 5,000 minerals and 1,000 gas. Xenio. What is he going to build? 17 roaches. I guess that makes sense. Uh, yes, there was a lot of energy left. The Sen still has a lot of energy left. Sen, you might want to use some infested Terrans uh, too. The jack 22 roaches are on the way. Sen is having counters all around the map, by the way, Ben. During all this, his roaches are doing some serious damage. But he's going to lose all of his Broodlords right now. He's going to lose, I guess, these Infestors as well. Oh, this control and the Infestors are going to just walk Zinio can't into the this army. Oh, that's Fungo. Ah! What? What? The more Infested Terrans going down. The fungal fungos. going down on the Infestors. One more Fungal could kill 10 Infestors the right now. And there it's... No. no, he walks into Spine Crawlers. Ah, what is going on? Two Broodlords still just kind of chilling in the middle of the map, by the way. They're going to kill a Queen. No, <laughs> not the queen, I hope. God save the queen. And amazingly, Xenio gets away with uh, 26 infestors to his name. No. Oh, God. <sighs> Must win game for Xenio, guys. If he doesn't win this game, he is out of the NASL Season 3. He'll be back for Season 4. How crazy was that, by the way, Ben? You see that insane, uh, that ridiculous army from Xenio coming in. And you know what Sen thinks? I'm going to send roaches around the map to pick off you're drones. You're and it right, actually, man. It was a good it, call. It was a good call. But how can you make that call? It, like well, it, was a, it was a good call in the regards that it, it, it really cripples Xenio's economy. Xenio yeah. down to 35 drones now. But, but how, there's how only one more base that Xenio can mine, Kev. He only needs 20 drones. But how could Sen be confident enough that he would somehow survive? I have no idea. Like, I, mean, I guess... I don't know if Brilliant or Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Sen, probably Brilliant. <laughs> gonna pick up this queen 160 supply against 166 uh, a lot of, a lot of hydras in this army and they do damage so fast that i think the infested terrans yeah, will just they die so fast too there are 31 infestors right now for xenio ben oh uh, sen is really gonna put himself in a tight if he can fight right at now. the top of the ramp it might work out for him that's exactly what he's gonna try to do xenio does not want to commit to that there's oh beautiful fungal xenio has got vision of it because of i guess a creep tumor <laughs> and uh <laughs> And uh, he's, uh, well, he, he gets the fungals off, but doesn't end up killing any of these hydras uh, as Sin continues to push forward. Kill the infestation pit for the love of yeah. God, Sin. <laughs> if there's one unit you really want to kill, it's probably the infestation pit. Then again, he has so many of them, he probably doesn't need to have some infestors. Xenia is like, okay, you take out my main. I'm going to take out your 12 o'clock. And uh, Zen is like, not that quick. Big uh, engagement going on right now. Infest in fungals landing either side. Uh, infested Terrans going down everywhere. Apparently so the most cost-effective late-game unit is the infested Terran. As uh, all these hydras getting dealt with, Sin down to 120 supply. Yeah, He's still sitting on a huge bank, 7,000 minerals. Production Ooh. tab shows 22 roaches. But big problem. He only has two mining extractors, and even those are running low, Ben. Yeah, he's running out of gas, so and he just lost 12 o'clock. That's a big problem. I, I, I mean, I don't think I don't that Zerglings are a terrible idea. Against 31 investors, yeah, pretty man. bad to me. Just, uh, I mean, throw them in a little bit at a time. That forces nah, Xenia to are cast so many fungals. fungals. These roaches look like they're doomed to a uh, yep. to an early extinction. As they're, they're kind of cornered up here in the top. I don't know if they can pick off some infestors. That would be good. Uh, no infestation pit is is alive. Zinio went so. at least back to the Zerglings, man. Because Zinio is running really low on gas as well. Sen is going to make a final send here in the middle of the map. Just take out these bases. Wow, so many corruptors over here for Zinio, which are useless. Flying right over the uh, the hydralis. I think. I don't. don't. Zinio doesn't have a single unit besides infestors that can fight. Oh, yes, ten roaches. And two brood uh, But not enough for the 36 well, roaches of Sin. Actually, I think maybe this has tilted it. Uh, I think Sin is uh, uh, reaching the point where Xenia can't answer. Fungal? Wow, great fungal. More infested Terran's going to go down. And Sin <laughs> is actually going to try to attack this base finally on the 6 o'clock position of Xenia. Oh, great usage of the Zerglings. They're going to absorb so much damage while the Hydras and the Roaches deal the damage. And this is the last real gas expansion that Xenia has. But and I it is going so. to fall. Sen is going to lose a ton of units, man. And yes, he will be able to make Zerglings. But... <laughs> but, but, I don't yeah. know what, Kev. Infestation Pit's going to go down again. Roach Warren will also fall. Fungals. Zinio showing up with the Infestors. Lance Fungals throws down some Infested Terrans, trying to save the Infestation Pit. Desperately saying it's the only unit that I can make. Neither player is making units right now. This is the moment where you could definitely use a handful of links. 
Uh, quite some investors are finally falling for Zinho, but he's treating them like their own children. Still 21 alive. 150 supply on both sides of the map. Hydra is oh, killing Overlords. Infested Terran's killing Hydra's Roaches, killing Hatcheries, and more Roaches coming in to support. Sin does snipe off the hatch. That means no more income for Zinho. Broodlords, where are they? They're up at the top half of the map, denying Sin from mining any money. And now Sin's down in supply. 80 supply to 125. Zinho with a 40 supply lead now. Sin He's got a ton of wow. money, but he's not able to mine anywhere. Zergling's going to pick off 6 o'clock once again. And Zinio uh, has a massive army supply lead, man. 110 against 42. It yeah. just seems like there's no answer to I, unlimited I, amount I, of investors. I think that uh, maybe you're right. <laughs> I, I, ultras would be pretty good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But there's no gas, man. There's no gas. No, that is right. But then again, with so many infested Terrans, are ultras still good? Yeah, it's a good point. Infested Terrans really gunk up the works. Actually, actually, a really good point. Maybe not. Maybe Banelings. Draw in Banelings. No, no, Banelings no. will be fungal. That doesn't work either. I don't know, Kevin. I don't know if there is an answer. This is this is in-game ZVZ. This is it. This is like Battle Cruiser Viking Raven in TVT. Yeah. This is like Mothership. If it really has to come to this, this is what it is. This is like Mothership Archon Colossus in PvP. Ben, Sen has uh, 48 gas left. That's what Sen has left. And, oh, just got all of his Hydras fungled. They're all going to die. And uh, Zergling's also going to be fungled and dealt with. I think this is actually the final fight of the game. A few more units in the middle of the map. They're all Changelings, <laughs> Changeling army. Not just a few, but a lot of them. Just kind of chilling. It's, it's actually annoying to kill all of these. Sin is completely mined out. He has zero. In no, actually, he still has a couple yeah. mineral patches in his main base. <laughs> No, oh yeah, yeah. But it does not matter. 150, su I'm sorry, 130 supply for Xenio, 70 supply for Sin. There's no answer. 45 oh. minute ZVZ reaching its waning moments, Kev. GG from Sin. Xenio stays alive. And we will have a fourth game. Yes. Whew, that face of Xenio. Can we get that back up on the screen, please? The Xenio win screen. <laughs> Show me, man. I missed it. Well, I, I saw it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come up here in just a second. The windscreen. Not bad, <laughs> says Xenia. <laughs> it's like, what do you think, my infestors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think, uh, I think we need to run a commercial. Maybe even run two commercials. <laughs> I need to stretch my legs and <laughs> drink some tea. <laughs> Six series between San and Zinio. Uh, Zinio hanging in there. He's still down one game. He still has to win two games on a row against San, who's playing fantastic StarCraft. The winner of this series will make it into top 16 of NESL, which means they're only one round away from making it to Toronto. If they win tonight, that is. Only the eight players will make it to Toronto. Ben, commercial break. Yes. Right back. Yes. Game four. Commercial break. We'll be Coming back. Up. More ZVZ. More Zinio versus San. And more still, Army. Demaga versus Ganzi on the horizon. Stick around, guys. Lots more StarCraft 2 action from the NASL after this.